You've probably heard the old wives' tale that you should cover up once the temperatures drop to avoid catching a cold. But is it true? Can the cold weather itself make you sick? Let's take a closer look. The moment the temperatures drop, it might seem like everyone around you is suddenly sneezing and coughing. But bacteria and viruses are present all year round, so how come getting the flu or a cold is more common in the winter? In 2022, scientists uncovered the reason why we get more respiratory illnesses when it's cold. The main reason? The cold air damages the immune response in our noses, creating a favorable situation for germs to propagate. Researchers in the U.S. have found that when the temperature inside the nose drops by 5 degrees Celsius from 37 degrees to 32 degrees, the nasal walls are weakened. And that's because this drop in temperature kills nearly 50% of the billions of good bacteria we need to fight off viruses. Once you have this uh, viral population in, in the community, the defenses that we then have is, is uh, decreased during cold weather. Even a five degree change in temperature, so decrease from 37 uh, degrees to 32 degrees, can, can lead to a reduction in our defenses as far as infections are. are. But the presence of virus is critical. There is no way you can get a cold uh, without having the virus present in the environment. This study contradicts prior research, which concluded the cold did not have repercussions on our immune system. But you still have to come into contact with the rhinovirus to catch a cold or be infected with influenza to get sick with the flu. So if wearing a hat or not going outside with wet hair isn't going to keep you from getting sick, then what's the best method? Well, it turns out the pandemic popularized one important object to help fight off these pesky germs. One thing that we found, which is something we already do in many parts of the world, is mask wearing. Uh, that even, you know, right now, even though COVID has subsided and, and the the concern is not as much, but what mask wearing does is actually, especially if you're using a thicker mask uh, or even doing uh, the traditional N95 or, or K95 mask, but with, with maybe an additional protection, it keeps your nose warm. And that in itself is also protective. So both you are able to prevent these particles from getting in, but you're also then keeping your nose warm so that your defenses are also much stronger during that case. So while we wait for topical nasal medications that can keep the temperature inside our nose from dropping, covering your nose and wearing a mask sounds like a good idea.